Hey there, I'm Meat Popsicle. And this is going to technically be the start of my new channel, The Prodigal PC. Uh, this video is going to be one of the first uploads for this new channel, and we're going to get as meta as I can possibly get. You see, we're going to be building the PC that uh, we will be editing this video on, and every video for the foreseeable future, including unboxings, reviews, future builds, uh, maybe even some tech news, and potentially some pretty sick gameplay. Now, enough exposition. I know you didn't click on this video to hear me jibber-jabber. Let's get to the tech point. I've put together a set of components that I think will do well as an editing rig. Links for all of these will be in the description below. The rig will be sitting in this Inwin 301 with its clean lines and tempered glass side panel. I have removed the blue color from the front I.O. panel and added an RGB strip that can and will be controlled through the header on the motherboard. That motherboard will be this MSI B350 Mortar Arctic, a solid MATX board that goes with the black and white color scheme. In that B350, I will be placing a Ryzen R7-1700. After debating the higher SKU Ryzen chips, I decided on the 1700 due to its price to performance and the fact that it comes with the Wraith Spire RGB cooler so no worrying about an AM4 bracket. Next to that, I'm going to seat this 16 gig kit of G-Skill Trident Z3200, which also matches the black and white color scheme. For graphics power, I have this beastly MSI GTX 1070 Ti Duke, which is so large it will fill the case from end to end. To feed air uh, to all of this, I found a great deal on these Apivia fans with white light rings, Yes, higher-end fans might be prettier and more efficient, but for the price, these can't be beat. To power all of this, I have this Corsair RMX 750 watt power supply, so that when upgrades happen, the power is already available. Every computer needs a boot drive, and for that, I'll be using this 120 gig Corsair MP500 M.2 NVMe drive, which is faster than any drive I've ever owned. This AMD R7 240GB SSD is the only part I didn't purchase as it was acquired through a fellow PC enthusiast and will be used to store current projects and the occasional game. As for mass data storage, it is an editing rig after all, I have this 3TB 7200 RPM Seagate Barracuda which should be zippy enough to access any stored assets without severe wait times. Of course we have to connect to the network and I don't want to run cables, so I will be using this TP-Link AC600 USB Wi-Fi adapter. Now, on to the build.
So here it is. I would like to introduce Perry White, the editor-in-chief of the Prodigal PC. I do have a few issues with the Inwin 301. It's not the easiest case to build in. Uh, there's nearly no cable management to speak of, to the point that I would say you need to use a modular power supply in this case. Uh, the drive cage has to be removed to even install that, unless you have a short or small form factor PSU. The cable shroud doesn't have much space for thick cable groupings and needed to be pushed down to get it into position. Uh, this is definitely not a case for someone that has never built a PC. All that being said, I love this case. It has a simple yet elegant look and would go well in almost any setup. Uh, overall, the build looks amazing and is jam-packed full of power. Uh, I was able to get a decent overclock of 3.6 GHz on all 8 cores of the Ryzen 1700 just using the stock Wraith Spire cooler. Uh, and the MSI 1070 Ti Duke took a healthy overclock, getting it to over 2 GHz on the core clock and uh, getting an extra 500 MHz on the VRAM, resulting in a 5 FPS uh, across the board average improvement in most titles. If you want to see the real numbers on Perry White's performance, I'll have a video available with those results. Uh, as always, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, and if you didn't, well, you can go straight to hell. I'm Meat Popsicle from the Prodigal PC, and I shall speak to you when I return.